Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be filming my products I regret buying video. The first products I have to talk about are the Naked palettes. I have the Naked 1, the Naked 3, and the Naked Basics. There was a point in like 2012 where everyone thought that the Urban Decay Naked palettes were the best palettes you could ever get. They were the only ones you could buy and if you didn't have a Naked palette, you sucked. Basically, that's wrong because these suck. They have the worst pigmentation. They blend into nothing, so then there's nothing left. There's like zero pigment in them. Like, and they're like, there's you can buy cheaper palettes that are way better than these are. Like, don't feed the hype. Like, what is this? These suck. Like, the brown is so chalky. The second product I have to talk about is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. So basically, this is kind of the reason I wanted to make this video today, because of how much I hate this palette. It came out in about June, I believe, and everyone was so excited. They're like, yay, like he's gonna make a palette, it's gonna be so good. Like, everyone bought the hype, including myself. I was so excited, this was before the whole scandal about how much of a shit person he is. So anyways, bought it, and I like three colors in it, and that's it. I like the pink, I like this, and I like this, which how hard is it to formulate these? I have like 42 of this exact same shade. And I like this pink, but it's still dry. And then this, you have to work to get it to look nice, but still it's nice. But other than that, this is the crumbliest shadow I've ever seen. Like, what is that? Like, it's just straight up powdery. Like, who would want that? And then these three have like zero pigment. They're almost like translucent. This is also dry and this is also dry. So he was saying like, oh my God, gonna get snatched. Like come through beauty killer. No, don't buy it. It sucks and he sucks and don't buy the androgyny palette because it's probably gonna suck just as much as this does don't buy that the third product I have to talk about is the Mac mineralized blush and new romance so I actually love Mac blushes they're probably my favorite formulation of blush and I love their mineralized blush in warm soul so I bought this because I was like oh yeah like it's super peachy and it's the same formulation but no like it is nothing it's like super thin and it just looks like straight up shimmer on the face it doesn't really apply much color and it it's just not worth it like i regret the price i don't know if they changed the formulation or what because my old warm soul is still in the old packaging maybe they repackaged them and they don't work as well but i wouldn't recommend buying them. the third product actually this isn't the third this is the fourth the fourth product i have to talk about isn't something i actually like hate i actually do really like the product and it's the kylie gloss and literally i only regret buying it because i never wear lip gloss i hate wearing lip gloss because i feel like it's sticky my hair gets stuck it's really hard to overline your lips when you're wearing lip gloss so yeah i regret buying this because i rarely use it like it's really hard for me to use. i may as well give it to my mom or someone who actually likes lip gloss it's a beautiful color like actually i hate the applicator too though but it's like this beautiful nude but it's a waste of money because I'm never going to wear it. And it smells good too. But if you do like lip gloss, you would like this product. I just don't like lip gloss, so I don't like it. The next product I have to talk about is actually another palette that came out from a YouTuber collaborating with a brand this year. And it is the Too Faced Nik Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup Palette. Now, I was so excited for this palette because I love Nikki Tutorials. I've been watching her since I was in grade 9. I always loved her. thought she was amazing. loved that she was a plus size woman and she was representing us. Just loved her all together. However, this palette did not meet up to my standards. So when she showed these these shades, when she swatched them, they were super pigmented in her video. However, they are so dry. Like, look at that black. And what is this? Like, and she said, yeah, like a perfect warm tone brown. Like, I don't see the warm tones in this shade. Total regret on my end. And then this color called Sugar Coated, which I was excited for too because I love pinks, is like powdery just like that Rich Bitch shade was. And ironically enough, these two palettes actually look, sorry, sorry, looks very similar. Like Wham Bam in the Nikki palette is similar to Violent in the Jeffree. And then Mystic Hour and Expensive are similar. And then there's those two pinky shades, and yeah, and they also both sucked, so that's fine. The next product I should talk about is actually another lip gloss, and it is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Coral Craze. Now, I love this color of this lip gloss and the formula, but I hate this stupid light. 
like it just makes it hard for me. But you see like, you see how it's like casting that above my lips and I can't really see what I'm doing. I just wish I could turn off this light or have an option to get one that doesn't have a light because I hate the light on this. The formulation is great and if you don't mind light, the light, you could should definitely look into these lip glosses because they're really good, but I hate the light. The next product I have to talk about is actually concealer and you'll notice that mine is actually empty and it's because I bought it and I needed concealer for my like to cover my spots because I don't feel like using my $30 Kat Von D concealer to cover each individual spot since my whole face is just one big breakout. So I've been using this. However, this breaks me out so bad. I'm so glad it's done so I can get something different because this has made my acne horrible. I didn't break out for so long, <coughs> excuse me. And then I started using this and it broke me out again. Plus it says fair, this is orange, the most orange concealer I've ever seen. Along with another regret, which I actually don't have right now. And it's the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I threw that one out because it was so shitty, it was horrible. It wasn't light, it had zero coverage. It smelled horrible, it creased like something sick, and it was just really bad, like would not recommend it unless you're like a kid who doesn't need a lot of coverage or you're an older person who needs something more moisturizing light but still wants to wear concealer. But then it might work for you, but still, if you wanna do that, just buy the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for like five bucks. The Walmart. next products I have to talk about are actually something that is like a favorite for a lot of people and it is the ColourPop Matte Lipsticks. This might come as a surprise for a lot of you because for a lot of people this is like their ride or die lipsticks. They're so good. They're super affordable which is a plus. However, these are so drying. They dry my lips out like something sick. Like I can wear lip, liquid lipstick and I can tolerate liquid lipstick. I wear it every single day. But these I cannot wear for more than an hour without feeling like my lips are going to fall off. They crumble, they give me butthole lips. They are $5, so if you can look past that, then sure. But I don't know. These are not same as the same as the Kylie lipsticks, like everyone likes to say, these are not the same. The Kylie ones are so much more hydrating than these ones are. So I'm not gonna say like don't buy these, because if you're on a budget, then buy them. But I'm saying that I regret buying so many of them because I hate the way I feel on my lips. And the last product I have to talk about is also by ColourPop, and it's their Super Shock Shadows. So my issue with these isn't the pigment. The pigment on these is fantastic. Like look how gorgeous that is. But my issue is, look at that, is the finish. These are a powder to cream finish, which for me equals they transfer from my lid to my crease in like half an hour. That's because I have really, I kind of have hooded eyes or at least like slightly hooded eyes. So that means I have issues with shimmers transferring. So these do that. I can use this as a base for another shade, but still that shade will transfer above. Also, I have this shade called Blaze and it isn't really much any pigment really it's just like shimmer like when you put this on your eye it looks like nothing see like this is a swatch of it like what is that compared to what this is supposed to look like so yeah i'm not saying again don't buy these but if you have hooded eyes you're going to hate these so again sorry that i'm super awkward and still cringy and this double chin just like needs to go away like i need to get some kind of surgery to remove this eventually however thank you for watching and thank you for everyone who told me to do this and if you have any other suggestions leave them down below because i would love to get to them for you i'm planning to actually start posting a video every two weeks or every week hopefully and if i start getting better at it i'm going to invest in a tripod next month and i'll actually start producing decent decent quality videos for you but thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe down below if you liked this video thank you